In this video, I will be showing you how to draw the solution of the above tangency problem. To draw the solution of the above tangency problem, first you have to draw the layout this way. It is easier to start with this center line. As you can see, the distance between this line and this line is 60 mm and the distance between this line and this line is 32 mm. The distance between this line and this line is 40 mm. After drawing the layout, it is time to draw cycles on specific points on the drawing. From the question, there is a cycle here of diameter 32 mm, which means the radius is 16 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 16 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point and produce the cycle. There is also a cycle here of diameter 50 mm, which is a radius of 25 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 25 mm. Then I will place my compass on this same point. Then I will produce the cycle. There is a cycle here of diameter 15 mm and a cycle here of diameter 15 mm, which means their radius is 7.5 mm because 15 divided by 2 is 7.5. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 7.5 mm. Then I will draw the cycles. Also, at this same point, there are cycles of diameter 25 mm, which is radius of 12.5 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 12.5 mm. Then I will draw the cycles. At the bottom here, there is a tangential arc of radius 105 mm. And the radius of these cycles here is 12.5. Since the arc is an internal arc, we will minus 12.5 from 105, which will give us 92.5. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 92.5 mm. Then I will place my compass on this point, that is the center of this cycle. Then I will cut an arc. I will also place my compass on this point, that is the center of this cycle. Then I will cut an arc to intersect the previous arc I cut. Since the radius of the tangential arc is 105 mm, with a radius of 105 mm, I will place my compass on the point where the arc intersect, then I will produce the tangential arc. Now it is time to produce the tangential arc this side. From the question, since we know that the radius of the tangential arc this side is 70 mm and we know that the radius of this cycle here is 25 mm, so we will add 70 plus 25 because the tangential arc is an external arc. Then I will place my compass on the center of this cycle here. Then I will cut an arc. We know that the radius of the large cycle here is 12.5 mm and the tangential arc is 70 mm and it is an external arc so we we'll add 70 plus 12.5 which will give us 82.5 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 82.5 mm.
then I'll place my compass on the center of this cycle here. Then I will cut arc to intersect the previous arc I cut. Since the radius of the tangential arc is 70 mm, I will place my compass on the intersecting point of the arcs, then I will produce the tangential arc. I will do so with a radius of 70 mm. From the question, you will observe that there is a vertical line downward this way. Also, there is a tangential arc of radius 16 mm this way tangential arc, you have to first draw a line parallel to this line. The line should be 16 mm from this line. To do so, adjust your compass to a radius of 16 mm. Then place your compass on this point. Then the point where the line intersects this line. Then cut an arc this way. After that, place your compass on any random point on this line. Using the same radius of 16 mm, draw another arc. That draw a line across the top of the arc. We have obtained the parallel line to this line and the line is 16 mm from this line. Now, since the radius of this cycle here is 12.5 mm and the radius of the tangential arc here is 16 mm and it is an external arc, so we add 16 plus 12.5 which will give us 28.5 mm. So I will adjust my compass to a radius of 28.5 mm. Then I will place my compass on the center of this cycle. Then I will cut arc on the parallel line. Since the radius of the tangential arc is 16 mm, with a radius of 16 mm, I will place my compass on the point where the arc intersects the parallel line. Then I will produce the tangential arc. So this is the solution of the above tangency problem. All that is left is for me to make bold the parts that are supposed to be pulled and also complete the dimension. The solution of the above tangency problem has been drawn successfully. Thank you for watching this video. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Challenge with any of your engineering drawing or technical drawing assignments, you can send the question to the WhatsApp number displayed. I will solve the questions and send a video of the solution to you. It's completely free, it will not cost you a dime.